Hello, my name is Marginal Jr. and you won't believe this, internet bots are going on LinkedIn and creating fake Amazon employee profiles, fake Apple employee profiles. So what I'm going to do in this video is cover in depth how, why, where, who, why, what, what is going on. I'm going to cover all of that in this video. So we're going dark. This story is courtesy of Krebs on security. So what are bots you ask? Bots are made from the sets of algorithms that aid them in their designated task. These tasks include conversing with a human, which attempts to mimic human behaviors or gathering content from other websites. The, there are several different types of bots designed to accomplish a wide variety of tasks. What are examples of bots? Technologies like Siri, Alexa, and Google Assistant are bots. Who invented the first bot and when was it created? The first ever chat bot was introduced even before the launch of personal computers. It was developed by MIT Artificial Intelligence Laboratory by Joseph Weizenbaum in 1966 and was named Eliza. Eliza examined the keywords received as input and then triggered the output according to uh, a defined set of rules. So why are bots used? Bots are normally used to automate certain tasks meaning they can run without specific instructions from humans. An organization or individual can use a bot to replace a repetitive task that a human would otherwise have to perform. Bots are also much faster at these tasks than human. Number one, we have insight. Bots make up 64% of internet traffic. Automated traffic makes up nearly two thirds of internet traffic as measured by Barracuda Technology over the first six months of 2021. Roughly 25% of this traffic is known as good bots. Ones like search engine crawlers, social network bots, and monitoring bots. However, uh, measurements show that nearly 40% of traffic in total was fr uh, from bad bots. These bad bots include both basic web scrappers and attack scripts as well as advanced persistent bots. These advanced bots try their best to in, uh, evade standard defenses and attempt to perform their malicious activities under the radar. In the data set, the most common of these persistent bots were ones that went after e-commerce applications and login porters. And on October 10th, 2022, there were 576,562 LinkedIn accounts that listed their current employer as Apple Inc. The next day, half of those profiles no longer existed. A similarly a dramatic drop in the number of LinkedIn profiles claiming employ employment at Amazon comes as LinkedIn is struggling to combat a significant uptick in the creation of fake employee accounts that pair AI generated profile photos with text lifted from legitimate users. JP uh, is a developer who is working on a product that tracks company data, including hiring, uh, uh, J Pino. Pino has been using LinkedIn to monitor daily employee headcounts at several dozen large organizations. And last week, he noticed that two of them had far fewer people claiming to work for them than they just did 24 hours previously. Pino's screenshot shows uh, it, it showed the daily count of employees as displayed on Amazon's LinkedIn homepage. Pino said his scrapper shows that the number of LinkedIn profiles claiming current roles at Amazon's fell from roughly 1.25 million at 838,601 uh, in just one day, a 33% drop. Neither Amazon or Apple responded to requests for comment. LinkedIn uh, declined to answer questions about the account purges, saying only that the company is const uh, constantly working to keep the platform free of fake accounts. In June, LinkedIn acknowledged it was seeing a rise in fraudulent activity happening for on the platform. So Krebs on Security hired uh, a s single hire, a company, to check Pino's numbers. Single hire keeps track of active and former profiles on LinkedIn. And during the October 9th, uh, uh, 11th uh, time frame signal hire said it saw somewhat smaller but unprecedented drops in active profiles tied to Amazon and Apple. The drop of the percentage of 7 to 10 <laughs> percent this time is not something that happened before. Signal House Anastasia Brown told Krebs on security. Brown said the normal daily variation in profiles numbers for these companies is plus or minus 1 percent. That's definitely the first huge drop that happened throughout the time we collected the profile, she said. 
In late 2022, Krebson Security warned uh, about the pro um, proliferation of fake LinkedIn profiles for chief information security officer roles at some of the world's largest corporations. A follow-up story on October 5th showed how the phony profile problem has affected, had affected virtually all executive roles at corporations and how these fake profiles are creating an identity crisis for the business's networking site and companies that rely on it to hire and screen prospective employees. So, whew. a day after that story ran, Krebs on Security heard from a recruiter who noticed the number of LinkedIn profiles that claimed virtually any role in network security had dropped 7% overnight. LinkedIn declined to comment about that earlier account purge, saying only that we're constantly working at taking down fake accounts. It's unclear whether LinkedIn is responsible for this latest account purge or if individually affected companies are starting to take action on their own. The timing, however, argues for the former. As the account purges for Apple and Amazon employees tracked by Pino appear to happen within the same 24-hour period, it's also unclear who or what is behind the recent proliferation of fake executive profiles on LinkedIn. Cybersecurity firm Mandiant, recently acquired by Google, told Bloomberg that hackers working for the North Korean government have been copying resumes and profiles from leading job listing platforms. LinkedIn and Indeed as part of an elaborate scheme to land jobs at cryptocurrency firms. Are you serious? On this point, Pino said he noticed an account purge in early September that targeted fake profiles tied to jobs at cryptocurrency exchange Binance. Up to September 3rd, there were 7,846 profiles claiming current executive roles at Binance. The next day, that number stood at 6,102, a 23% drop. By some accounts, that 6,102 headcount is still widely inflated. Fake profiles also may be tied to so-called pig -a butchering scams, wherein people are lured by flirtatious strangers online into investing in cryptocurrency trading platforms that eventually seize any funds when victims try to cash out. In addition, identity thieves have been known to masquerade on LinkedIn as job recruiters, collecting personal and financial information from people who fall for employment scams. Nicholas Weaver, a researcher for the International Computer Science Institute at University of California, Berkeley, suggested another explanation for the recent glut of phony LinkedIn profiles. Someone may be setting up a mass network of accounts in order to, uh, to more fully scrap profile information from the entire platform. Even with just a standard LinkedIn account, there's a pretty good amount of profile information just in the default to hop networks, Weaver said. We don't know the purpose of these bots, but we know creating bots isn't free and creating hundreds of thousands of bots would require a lot of resources. In response to last week's story about the explosion of phony accounts on LinkedIn, the company said it was exploring new ways to protect members, such as expanding email domain verification. Under such a scheme, LinkedIn users would be able to publicly attest that their profile is accurate by verifying that they can respond to email at the domain associated with their current employer. LinkedIn uh, claims that its security system detect and block approximately 96% of fake accounts. And despite the recent purges, LinkedIn may be telling the truth, Weaver said. There's no way you can test for that, he said, because technically, it may be there were actually 100 million bots trying to sign up at LinkedIn as employees at Amazon. Weaver said the apparent mass account purge at LinkedIn underscores the size of the bot problem and could present a real and material change for LinkedIn. It may mean statistics that have been reported uh, about usage and active accounts are off by quite a bit, Weaver said. So what do you think? Do you believe that North Korean hackers have a hand in LinkedIn? Do you, do you think that LinkedIn's security posture might not be as strong? It is a, you know, oh, isn't LinkedIn acquired by Facebook? So what that means, Facebook security posture is not that. Let me know your thoughts. I appreciate your viewership. I love you. Please stay safe. Please hit the notification bell. Please uh, hit the subscribe button. I love you. You a hack pack. See you in the next video.